All right guys, so today it's all about bugs. So we're gonna show you my springtail colonies. We're gonna go over and check out Jackie's isopod colonies. And then we're gonna go over to Brennan's house and check out my dubia roach colonies. So I keep all the springtails at my house and all my different cultures. And hopefully soon I'll have enough of them to put them out for sale to the general public. But as of right now, all it is is crushed lump charcoal, a handful of long grain rice, distilled water that goes up about a quarter of the way, about a, what is it? Eh, about a quarter of an inch, half an inch. So all I do is I take another culture with a large production in it, fill it up with a little extra water, and then they literally just pour right out into this. So this is a fresh seeded culture. I'm gonna take it over to Jay and Jackie's house and show you their isopod stuff, leave this with them, and we'll get some more bioactive stuff going pretty soon here. All right guys, so we just got over to Brennan's house who owns Legacy Reptiles. There What's he is. Up? <laughs> so over here is where I keep all my dubia colonies. So he and I both have a dubia colony. They sit right here. We hold hot spots, 90, 95 degrees. Get them to breed right because they are a tropical roach. Yeah. Pretty much they're really easy to take care of. Great food source. I swear God made them only to be food. They can't climb walls. They can't fly even though they have wings. They have way more calcium than any other insect. They don't smell when they poop. There's no reason not to have them. So pretty soon here, they're gonna be ready to start feeding all my Aki monitors so they'll be on a Dubia Roach diet. And then Brennan's gonna use them for his cute little bearded dragon. So this is how we sort them. We'll show you what we do. So that's pretty much it. That's how we sort out dubia roaches here. We're gonna have three sizes. We have our large, our mediums, thank you Brandon, and our nymphs. We're doing this just so we can clean the enclosure today. We're still about two, three months out from having constant feed supply off of these guys. So this was our starter colony. You can see how many we have. Everything from here is just gold. So. Can't wait till we can actually start feeding these instead of crickets, cause crickets are, crickets suck. All right, so we're back over at Jay's house. So let's show you how we keep our isopod. So this is a simple isopod culture. So this is cocoa choir leaf litter with a little bit of vermiculite in it for the water. Cause it's a real simple setup. Dig down and you can see these guys right like this. This is a dwarf white isopod. So this is a very small culture that we just started. So after you know a month, maybe two months, these things will be ready to pull for all of our bioactive tanks. So it'll be a great start. So this is cool because I'm doing this right over top of Jay's Aki enclosure. Check out how great that's coming out. Bonus IJ Carpet Python and Spotted Python feeding videos. Woo! Yeah, I got nothing. Not I'm about to eat some chicken and get the fuck up out my house. <laughs> demonetized. demonetized. And demonetized. <laughs>